being here today. It's been uh, it's a pleasure to be invited to speak before all of you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Como and uh, Ms. Leach. And I'm going to start off by saying something uh, that I think uh, our Honorable Thomas Kwaka and uh, Honorable uh, Dr. Simeon will appreciate. And one of the things I'm going to talk about is making farming cool and easy. You know, that was actually, um, it was actually our um, tagline for a while for the company. It was, uh, you know, what, what are we doing? What are we really doing here? We're making farming cool and easy. And, um, and that was inviting a lot of uh, youth involved to get, to get involved with us. But um, let me first address the, the question, which is uh, pioneering, right? What are we doing to pioneer and, uh, and solve the problem of the, uh, of the much needed SDGs? So uh, when you look at this, my background is a forensic accountant. I, uh, I'm an investigator, you know? So when I look at things, I uh, take them apart and I just look at the, the confusion of data. And there's a lot of data out there, you know, on how do we resolve uh, global warming? How do we resolve the problems of, of sustainability? Mainly that's the number one uh, issue is sustainability for our future. So in dissecting this, um, I just looked at the ocean of data and all of that information and I brought it down to two drops, okay? Two main vital pieces of information that solving these two issues would trickle or create a domino effect that would handle, uh, based on my study, about 13 out of the 17 SDGs, okay? So let me, let me present that to you. Um, first, to understand it, you have to understand what those two problems were that, I, that we isolated. Number one is water pollution. And number two is soil destruction. Um, those two alone handle a lot of the other issues globally. So I'm gonna give you uh, some information about the water pollution. 70% um, of all the water that's being used every single day of our lives internationally, okay? So the worldwide water, 70% of that water is being used by the agricultural industry. I don't know if, if everyone knows that, but that is a fact you can Google it. Anything that I say today, you can Google and verify yourself, okay? Next, 95% of the world's agriculture is conventional. And the definition of conventional means it's being grown using chemicals, okay? So you have 95% of the world's agriculture multiplied into 70% of the world's water. You come up with a simple equation that's 66, I won't give you the, the point, you know, six, seven, three, two, whatever it is. Uh, it's 66% of the world's water is being poisoned every single day, okay? How do you wanna know that's a fact? Confirming it, the water bottle industry has become the number one uh, uh, drink industry uh, skyrocketing statistics for the last 15 to 20 years, it outpaced all the soft drinks on the shelves that you see. Every single soft drink combined does not compare to the water bottle sales for the last 15 years, okay? So people do not trust the water anymore. Second problem is our microbial life forms. The, the little bugs that are in the, in the soil that create all the energy of the soil that feed the plants are dying because of the same problem, which is the chemicals in the water that's being put into the soil to grow agriculture. So a solution had to, had to be discovered. Cade Project of Italy, founded by Mr. Fulvio Balmelli, came up with a solution and it was a medical solution. It was a medical solution to figure out how can we make people healthier again, the soils healthier again, life healthier again, so that people can live longer and live healthier and, and, and handle 13 of the 17 SDGs. Um, he worked very dil diligently for the last 20 years. I have gotten involved with him since 2013. Um, and we launched uh, a product, which I'm going to show to you right now. It's kind of wild and overwhelming. So be ready for the future. Just understand that we are the pioneers for the agricultural industry. 
So does everybody remember this technology? <laughs> right? Fantastic. Holds data made of plastic used with, a, with machinery, right? You put it in there and you can play music, play videos, or transfer data from one computer to another. Okay? It's outdated about 15 years now. Okay. Look what we've pioneered. Look familiar? This is metal. It's a very unique metal. But this metal is programmed with over 3,000 quantum biological physical programs directly related to agriculture. This is the future of agriculture. This is the 21st century transition technology that takes us away from the 120 years of chemical growing and brings us to the next 300 years of biophysical energy farming. Imagine all of your clothing now with natural materials. I'm so proud to be standing, sitting next to you because we have a program where we launched 1,000 scientific trials around the world to prove that this technology is the future of farming and will resolve the majority of the SDG issues of sustainability. And we need to partner together because, because you're doing trials with 1,600 universities around the world, and I only need 1,000 of them, which I'm already working with about 120. So the reality is that this technology resolves that issue, and it resolves it very quickly, and we have all the empirical data in these packages that I've delivered and available on our website so that you can see the future of sustainable farming is here and everyone's water will be clean, everybody's land will be healthier, and we have a bright future ahead of us. Brilliant. Thank Frank, you that's much. fascinating. And I think if you were in the Bay Area, maybe you'd give Siddhartha a run for his money in that tech challenge. Absolutely, because we can grow all those trees that burn down. Brilliant. That's right. Um, we get, um, and that forest that you wanted to plant, 15 million trees, maybe we can get that to 30 million. Right. Because we can do it faster. I'll take you up. I love it. Mm -hmm. so Thank I'm, you. I'm going to come to some questions. If not, I have another that I can pose to. Yes, just behind. Gentlemen, would you like to stand up? And... Uh, my name is Maz, and I just had a question for this finder. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, you showed a little disk and said there was data on it. And I didn't quite understand how a microtransmitter can transform for me uh, the, the farming machine. That does it help the plants? or Fantastic questions. The data of it. Yeah. So the data that's on here gets transferred through an irrigation system. So this microtransmitter gets attached to an irrigation system, metal to metal, and there's programming on here that will allow for water to take the data and hold it and be a medium to deliver it to the plants. Water as a medium for data. Exactly. Water will hold the data, okay, and transfer the data to the plants. And then the plants will absorb the water like it does naturally. And then within the plant, all the data is there. So the plant can now handle anything that's going on in its environment while also boosting its own physiology to reach its genetic optimum of production. We are very advanced. Yes. <laughs> yes. Just, just think, just start thinking, you know, you know, sci-fi of 40 years from now, right? But we're already there. <laughs> and, and we have the science to prove it.